Welcome to Yes. And we're live! Oh yeah! Welcome, Welcome back, far and wide, Avenue Amigos, Avenue followers, personal friends, and just general foodies for another one of our Avenue Stay at Home COVID-19. And it's raining! Woo! Hey guys, from behind the camera. I love, I love beautiful people. We got behind the camera, the beautiful Sophie, my wife, the brains, the hands behind the keyboard. She, she's alright. The hands. We're, 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 she's okay. We're, we're not sure about, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I usually marry okay. Yeah. I'm, okay. I'm, 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 I'm looking to set up for don't, don't, don't go for too good looking at what, yeah, they, yeah, they, they what are you talking <laughs> about? <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta go for someone that's slightly squiffy, like really looking <laughs> To the left of me, Richard, um, the hands, Richard the chef, Richard the whiz. Um, and myself, Niamh, the guinea pig, the tag along to the family. The moustache man. The oh, we got a you got to shave this up though. I know, but it's not getting to itch. Uh, yeah, no, no, to no, work that's what I mean, you got to shave it and then keep Yeah, it's not nice to kiss either. It is, I love kissing it. Kiss me in, Tone. Um, well, so welcome back guys. Um, I think we'll start off by having a little cheeky yeah, I'm, I'm, flapjack I'm from just gonna run that yesterday's there. flapjack cook along. Uh, right, let's do this. Can you flapjack? <laughs> 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 these, <laughs> are these just flapjacks? Oh, no, they're not. With my cup of tea winning. Okay. Um, and today, and today we are doing amazing mm. Oreo truffles. We're going to use Oreo, we're going to use some chocolate, we're going to use many life peanut butter, and um, basically we're going to have delicious fun. Did any of you guys make this? If you didn't, you're missing out. Look at yesterday. Yep, flamjack. Yeah. That is um, seriously good. Can we good just give everyone before we start as well? Before you guys start and give a bit of an That's intro, true. can you guys give all some alternatives for Oreos, peanut butter? You know, because obviously we have people with. We are in coronavirus times. Not everyone can get hold of the the correct ingredients. Well, not correct, but the ingredients that we're using. Absolutely. So give I us a let, bit of. I will let Richard give you the supplements. But if anybody has any questions, if you have any comments, if you want to ask anything while we're doing this, the voice of reason behind the cameras, Sophie, the magnificent, would let us know, um, and hopefully we can help you. Um, yeah, guys, send any questions, and I will do my best to ask them. So I'm going to start off by washing my hands for at least 20 seconds while you think of... Yeah, that's a great, great, great time to wash your hands for. I mean, 20 seconds is a great time. Okay, so, guys, um, four alternatives. Now, just going to show you a couple of things. So, in terms of chocolate, any chocolate that you guys can get a hold of. Now, I've got a sweet tooth, so I'm going to be having dairy milk chocolate rather than um, bourbon milk chocolate. If you guys have any milk chocolate, I like sweet, so I'll go milk. Or white, or anything. Or white, or anything, literally. I mean, depending on what kind of chocolate you like. If you like dark chocolate, use a dark one. If you like milk, use milk. So... Any kind of chocolate will work. Then, um, biscuits. So we've got Oreos, that's what I wanted to use. Unfortunately, that's our last packet because... Mm. Richard. Well, I, <laughs> I mean, Ollie, Ollie, Ollie. Yeah, well, my, my brother. My brother has eaten, unfortunately, most of them. So I don't have very many of these, so I will probably be using some digesters. I've also got some um, digesters with chocolate on the top. Um, so it doesn't really matter which one. These are actually um, gluten-free. Do not worry about the gluten-free, it's just any biscuit. So we've got any biscuit, um, any chocolate, and then to do a spread, if you guys have got Manny Life, that's what I recommend. I love Manny Life. If not, we've got some Nutella, you can use um, some Philadelphia, you can use if anyone's got Biscoff spread, that stuff's amazing. You can put that stuff in. Um, but literally, like, what's any Manny Life? Manny Life. Some people might not know this glorious thing. It's the ultimate peanut butter. If you, if you are into peanut butter, I would recommend go out there, grab a whole load of different things, put that next to it. I would actually recommend buying the other ones next to it. Put them all in, 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 a, in a line, taste all of them, and you will see, and um, I don't even have to sell it. I mean, literally, you try this way, you, you'll be... Oh, I think you if like any life was a girl, it's definitely be your wife. Yeah, yeah. straight. <laughs> marry you, marry you, man. If Richard could marry Peanut Butter, I was thinking, I was thinking if I could marry Stu, I would, but I don't know. I think he's straight. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, I'll call him up about it. Um, so before we start, um, first of all, if you guys um, can tag any friends, family, any people you know that you want to show them what we're doing here so they can join us. We're going to do this all of next week. Um, so I think basically Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Wednesday, we're going to be here. Thursday, Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> we you normally mix up days these days. Yeah, well, yeah. oh, you know. You know, there's no such thing as days. I might just start calling them one, two, and three. Yeah, well, we're going to be there yeah. one, two, and three. Um, <laughs> if you want to know what we're cooking, you can have a look at our um, social media accounts. You can join our mailing list, which is at the bottom of the foot, in the footer of our website, the main page to the bottom right. Um, 
if you press subscribe and you put your details down, you get all of our emails, all the recipes of what we make, all the days, times, and all the fun things we're doing here in quarantine. Uh, that's for our mailing list. Um, one more important thing that we started doing is online classes. Yeah, so we're now offering two types of classes. We either offer a sushi class, which Richard, my dear fellow here, would teach you one-on-one -on, -one on uh, camera. And not only that, we will also provide you with everything you need beside the vegetables and fish. So we're going to send you guys sushi kits if you... Right, yep. sushi kits, everything to the, to the front of your house, convenience. And I will walk you guys through how to do it. And yeah, we already, and we set up the time, depends what's comfortable for you, what's comfortable for us, and you know, we can make it a, a family thing, you can invite friends, we can do more than one house. You've got, you've got another, another half that's far away, you send her a kit, you got a kit, have a romantic night with me, but don't worry about that, I'll make <laughs> it even more romantic. Party, yeah. A family Sunday gathering, whatever you want. Even if it's can... just a solo class, we also do yeah. um, a range of the other, other sorts of classes where we you choose the ingredients, we'll try and get them, and then we just do a cook-along. So you can book that on our website. Yeah, and just drop us any questions if you have any to info at the Avenue Cookery School, and my dear wife Sophie can get back to you, and hopefully we can make things happen. Um, so to the magic for today. Oh yeah. We, I think today is going to be a relatively short one compared to the others. Yeah, it's, it's going to be a quick and delicious recipe. Um, and I think we already started heating up some water, didn't we? Do not worry about the water, I'm going to carry it uh, So, right, we're going to do some chalky biscuit bites. Now that's what I like to call them because that's a very nice way of saying it. So, starting off with, so these are basically chocolate biscuit balls. Um, that we're, uh, they're super easy and quick to do. So, I'm going to be using a Magimex for this. If you guys have got any processor, um, that is that will work too. Right, so I've got my Magimex here. Um, I'm firstly going to get my biscuits. now. It's very difficult for me to tell you the exact amount of biscuits to put in here because basically I'm going to weigh up what we've got here and I'll, sit, I'll put the recipe out on the internet. Unfortunately, I'm going to be using two different types of biscuits. And as you guys know, there's like that milk layer inside Oreos. Um, so because of that, it's going to kind of distort the recipe a little bit. So, so basically, basically you can wing it. it. Yeah, so wing it. That basically last... you can just put the whole thing in. We yeah. are lacking a little bit of Oreo, so we just want to like put a little bit of digestive in there exactly. to yeah. bulk so, it out a bit. But for the people at home, they can just put the whole, yeah. the whole Oreo pack inside. If, if you guys have got a lot of biscuits, you know, a lot of Oreos, whack them all in. Because um, I think for me, we, we, we get through quite a lot of these when we make them. So I want to make enough that we actually, you know. <laughs> I, the, we have four, enough for just four one day. in the morning when I wake up and I need a little bit of sugar. Yeah. That's what, all I can do. It's so COVID-19 is really bad for my figure, I think. No, it's not, <laughs> mate. You look beautiful. Uh, right, so I'm going to get some digestives in there as well. That is a decent amount. We'll have a lot of biscuits mm. Um So, then what we're going to do is we're going to start adding some um, peanut butter. Now let's check out which ones we've got. I think I might go for, let's go for some intense, thick and creamy and intense. What do you need? Um, uh, so we'll uh, get a decent sized spoon. And now what we're going to do is add in a decent amount of peanut butter. Yes. Um, if, uh, is that a question we, if, from the crowd? That is a question from Ooh, the crowd. We want the names as well. This is from Alison Shaw, who is live on Facebook. Hi, Alison. Um, and yo, yo, yo. she is asking if she doesn't have a Magimix, can she just smash it down with a rolling pin? Yes, that would be perfect. Yeah, rolling pin, hit it. Wine bottle. Yeah, um, you know, your head. Whatever. Just the thing is, is you've got to get the, the dust out of your hair. That's the, that's the just put them on the floor, give them a little walkover. Yeah, um, <laughs> a little bit of a workout while you do it, I guess. Yes. <laughs> so it's good. Well, we just get fatty, she at least gets fit a bit. We right. also have a call out from um for uh, for Lara who is seven years old. So hi Lara. Hi Lara. Hello, Lara. Oh, we also have a call out to Tina Briggs from yesterday, which we didn't mention. So I hope you've seen us today, and this is our debt to you. Oh, oh. Yeah. oh yeah. Okay, so got two tablespoons of peanut butter. I'm just gonna give it a coarse pulse, and I'm gonna show you guys the texture, and now I'm probably gonna add more peanut butter. So lid on. If you guys are doing this at home, add in. So I've got about three quarters of a packet of Oreos with about a quarter of a packet of digestives in there. I'm going to start pulsing it. I want to keep it nice and coarse. I don't want to blend it up until it's basically like breadcrumbs because it will be too fine. So I think little, little bits of biscuits will give it a nicer texture. Get that going. I'm going to switch that on the pulse. Oh, it's very angry magic. All right, let's check out what's going in here. So, oh, I can definitely smell it already. It nice, your nose straight away. Nice and easy. If I try and get this into a ball, it's not going into a ball. Yeah, it's just too, too crumbly. So because it's too crumbly, I need to add more peanut butter. So, 
Let's go for it. We're going to add in some more. John, join me actually. I think we're going to probably start. Should we hear up a little cheap with Nutella? I think Nutella is a well. fine addition. Yeah. Um, Italians do know what they're doing. Oh, oh yeah. But I can't believe he's gone. Who's he? The guy who invented Nutella. Is it, he gone? Yeah, but I'd swear it was only like a couple, like a year ago. I think it's like five years ago now. Or maybe oh, he left us with a great legacy. He, I think, he, he so. did. He, do you remember his name? Uh, was it was Mr. Ferrer, Mr. Ferrer. Mr. Ferrer. Oh, yeah. Mr. Russia. Um, Mr. Russia. <laughs> Mr. Russia. Um, I, I don't know. Unfortunately. Right. Okay. So, got that. Let's oh, let's get a different spoon. For that. We do like double dipping, but uh, triple fl fly kicking. So uh, another. Go, 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 get, 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 get a big, get, yeah, come on, you want two of those, two of those. So, we're right now at six tablespoons for the amount that we've got. Guys, you're just gonna have to, so, because Oreo's got that milky layer, it's gonna be wetter than if you use just digestives, or if you Jesus. use, I don't know, Biscoff or something Sticky. like that. Look at that. So you're saying basically do it by, by, by sight. By sight, and also, guys, we're trying to make this into balls, it's as simple as that. If you try and squidge it and it goes into a ball, you, done a great job. If it doesn't go into a wall, you need to add more. And, and if you were to, um, you know, realise you've added too much peanut butter or Nutella. More biscuits. More biscuits. There yeah. you go. Yeah. And you'll see, you guys will all see the texture we'll get to um, once we get there. So keep your eyes peeled. You've added a lot of biscuits. Oh. Okay, so guys, look, we're getting closer. Look at, look at that. Yeah, roll that up, put it in your mouth, think that you're a good person. You know you're a good person, that's actually a good thing to do. Um, so that is very, that, that, that is good to go, but other parts of it are a little bit loose. So what I'm gonna do is actually take all this out so I don't over mix it, put this into a bowl, and then, yeah, he's gotta be a taste test. Um, and then I'm gonna start squidging it together just to see if we can make it into a bowl. So, can you move the magic mix out? Magic mix out of the way. Let's have a little cheeky tidy up. Nothing like a cheeky tidy up. I don't know what a cheeky tidy up it is, but I presume it would be a, a fun part of the day. Do you right. think we need more peanut butter in there? All right. Let's mix this up. Um, no, it should be enough. No. Okay, so guys, should we, um, what about that Ben Marie? Should we tell people to kind of like heat up their water? I wouldn't worry, I don't want to know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we, we've got, we want to wait a little bit just while this starts to set. Okay, so guys, look at that. Yeah, so it's actually into a ball. Yeah. So once it's into a ball, then we can start forming it into nice round little balls. So make sure that you've ended up with something like that. Now, the really, really difficult part, you've actually got to taste it. Yeah, you've got to see whether you like it. Um, and then we're going to be putting it inside the freezer and then letting that set and then dipping that into chocolate. Right. Yeah. So you, you ready to say, oh, actually. Do you I want to give a breakdown on what's, what, what you've done again? Of course. Okay. We've had yes. a few people asking. Okay. So guys, so far what we've got. So we're starting with Oreo truffles. That's yeah. the, that's what we're doing here today. So yeah, we basically got. Um, inside of here, I've got some Oreos inside digestives. Basically, just think it is whatever biscuit you guys have that you like. We blitzed it up and we've added Nutella and peanut butter. Now, you can just add peanut butter, you can just add Nutella, you can add any kind of spread like Biscoff or um, any other kind of lovely flavoured um, spread that you like. I probably wouldn't use jam, that'd be a bit weird and sticky. You wouldn't be able to do it. You want, you want something like a chocolate or Genesis. biscuit base? Almost, <laughs> almost. You can comb your hair with. I mean, that's one from the Zohan. Silky smooth, silky smooth. Um, and then you can, um, uh, yeah. So just any biscuit, any kind of spread that you like, flip the two together, and just make a ball like that. Once we've got a ball like that, we're then going to start making it into nice round balls, and then we're going to be putting it on a tray in the freezer while we melt the chocolate. So, all right. Get rolling into balls. Let's do this. So inside the, the free, guys, don't worry. I'm just doing this because I want to show you guys the end product. I've kept my tray in the freezer to cool this down. So what you're now going to do is get a tray, line it with some baking parchment or some cling film. And we're just now going to be making these into small little round balls. Now, the, the size that I would probably go for is about a, a, um, a Lindor ball. Yeah. Mm. So get them into Lindor balls. A big mouthful. Oh, uh -huh, yes. 
Um, and you then, guys will lift it up and uh, yeah, do you want yeah, to put yeah. it here so we can see uh, yeah. uh, the, 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 the tray the, yeah, yeah. and then everyone can kind of see the size that you're going yeah, yeah. for. We're hoping oh, everybody's catching, catching up to us and if anybody needs a bit of time, a bit of questioning, just let us know. We're here. Yeah, yeah. guys, bring, bring in the questions. Let us know. Online on digital on 8891FM. <laughs> BBC Radio 2. <laughs> God, I have a voice of an angel, I swear. Uh, no, you, you chose the wrong profession. You should uh, do the ten or well, yeah, it. maybe at the end of this, I might actually get into my opera career. I think. <laughs> oh, please don't. Can we try, Can we do like them a little squares like that? You could do it in any shape of place. Yeah, should, should we? I'm not gonna yeah. do it. I, I think that's too rogue. I think you know people are watching us and they might be thinking. He's a bit of a nutcase. He's doing okay. it in a square. I'm just gonna go one square. A little bit nutty. To, yeah. just, just to tease. You, you, you're nutter. Right. Okay. So. Look okay. at that. I'm gonna put it here just so we we're aware. Okay. Right. So that's quite a nice texture, doesn't it? It is. It's like. Just it's probably pure. the best flavored dough. <laughs> Oh, apart from that peanut butter cookie dough that I made the other day, I've got a whole batch of it in my freezer. Just kept, just kept it oh, cold. Oh, I'm gonna dip some of those in chocolate and then eat them. Oh, do them, do some of that as well. Um, raw yeah. cookie dough, raw peanut butter cookie dough. Again, yeah. Manny Life is the main feature. Yeah. <laughs> of course. Of, of course. Yeah, beep, beep, beep. Right. Who would be the chef if Richard was an opera singer? Is that, I, what, is that, I, was that a question? I vote, I vote Sophie, but what? obviously Diana, dearest darling, honey bunch. Oh yeah, Diana, bar. obviously, but she's already a chef, isn't she? Wait, is that, was that a question? Yep. I don't know. I think I would just sing while teaching. I prefer being behind the I camera. I think people would love to, just imagine a class, it starts with me just like breaking out some Pavarotti, and everyone's <laughs> like, damn, and then like, <laughs> And then I go, just so mix that live. What you now gonna do is you can do a souffle, and they're like, "No way!" He sings and he just. The only thing is, I only, I only like singing. Well, you properly. just sing the demos. That's true. And I then mean, everyone in, in Italian, Italian, so it's everyone wants to guess. Yeah. Apparently, some operas really like. Apparently, some Italians hate some opera that sounds amazing because basically what they're saying is like. Sit on the chair, <laughs> and they just say sit on the chair ten times. So it's actually it sounds beautiful, but got a question from the crowd. Yes, from the crowd. Uh, what uh, do we line the tray with? Uh, so it doesn't matter. Cling film, baking parchment, just something that's gonna stop it from sticking. A non-stick tray. Yeah, non-stick tray. Um, to be honest, you probably could just, just do it on a metal just, tray. Yeah, you could do it on your hands and then just sit in the freezer for a bit. But um, <laughs> that, if you got a really big freezer, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> Might not be much fun. Yeah, I'd probably get a bit bored after. <laughs> um, it's a good excuse to use your ski gear. I don't think you're going skiing anytime soon. I know, so yeah, that's true. Might as well. Um, but uh, Chelsky. Chelsky, I'm Guys, what are we going to, should we say about what we're making next week? Do you. Yeah, from, I think we're doing a, there's a chickpea, is there a chickpea salad? Chickpea salad. salad. On Monday night. Um, we're, we're doing pesto gnocchi. New York, it would be and a chocolate mousse, olive oil before. chocolate mousse, and the, follow, the following week we're doing a pasta week. So we're doing three kinds: uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. We're going to be doing three kinds of pasta. But the person who asked that question obviously doesn't follow our mailing list. So I suggest yeah. go to our mailing list. You'll see all the recipes that are planned for next week. Stop also, being, stop being silly. <laughs> Join our mailing list. What's this nonsense I hear? Yeah, but not only that, if you're a part of our mailing list, you can have requests. If you guys want us to do risotto, you guys want us to do panofi pie, we want to do apple crumble, you want to do... I don't know, you say it, we'll try it. Some singing lessons? Potentially. If we can get hold of the ingredients, we, uh, yeah, we're, we're happy to try some things. They need to be quick, quick easy dinners. So guys, I need, to put those, I need to put these in the freezer as soon as possible. So those are the balls done. So we've got basically biscuit mixed up with any spread, literally made into a ball. As soon as it's got that texture that you can actually ball it up, I'm now going to shove that in the freezer because I need it to set as much as possible while we melt the chocolate. And we'll have a little recap while you they're will. in the freezer. Um, because people are, well, someone has asked, um, Ali has asked, what do you do if it is sticky? I assume they be too sticky. If it's too sticky, um, add more biscuit. More biscuit. Yeah. Have a good, good mixture. Yeah. Just can it ever be too sticky, really? Um, and it, it can be a little bit. Sammy yeah. has asked, was it the fridge or freezer? Freezer. You want to chill it down? Well, I mean, because we're doing this as a quite a nice short um, class. Uh, so yeah, just if you can put it in the freezer, it will speed it up. Don't worry if it's in the fridge or freezer. It's not like chocolate. It's 
it's more about setting the chocolate round it. That's what we're trying to do. It just yeah, it just makes it easier to yeah. di dip into the melted chocolate, so you, it doesn't get all crumbly. Just make sure everything is clean as well. So guys, the next thing we're going to start by doing is we're going to start by do, dealing with a bain marie. So a bain marie. What is a bain marie, Richard? <laughs> a bain marie, <laughs> my my darling dear fellow, is. A saucepan with a little bit of water in the bottom, bowl on top with some chocolate. And, well, this is basically a bain And let me guess, it's French. Make sure that yes, it is indeed French. Invented most of the cooking techniques that we have. Lovely French. Um, yeah. Okay. So make sure the water doesn't touch the bowl. And yes, question. Oh uh, yes, a couple of people have asked, how long um, do you put it in the freezer for? So guys, we're going to be doing it during the class. So we, by the time our chocolate's melted, hopefully we'll be ready. So. 10, 15 minutes, hopefully. Um, so just because we need the outside to be cool, it doesn't really matter if the inside's not set because we're going to dip that inside of the chocolate, that will set around the edge and then we're going to have that. So so that freezing basically gives you that stability to work with. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. It's just, if it's too sticky now and you put it inside the chocolate, it's, you know, bits are going to crumble off. So if you can let it, it's basically like you're making a vanoffee pie, you've made your base or a cheesecake or anything, and you just put it in the fridge before you pour your mix in because if you pour it in your mix in too quickly, Basically what's going to happen is the biscuit's going to start mixing with your cheesecake and all that kind of stuff. Yes? Um, Neil said, do you like llamas? I love them. I think he asked this yesterday as well, but I didn't get around to asking the question. No, no, I love llamas. <laughs> you look like a llama, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Just need some chocolate or something. Um, I've been jumped on by Richard's llama, Richard Campbell. Yeah, he jumped on yeah. my back, he follows me, I turn around, and I keep my hand in, but once I turn around for too long and the next thing he's bloody jumped on me. Yeah, there's, there's, there's a, um, so my mum's boyfriend, he's, he's got two llamas, and they are, they're pretty llamary. I mean, I don't <laughs> know. As llamary as you can get. Yeah, they literally, <laughs> you look at it and you go, that is a llama right there. And you know, you can also do emojis of llamas now. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. I we have, we have um, Honor P. I don't know if that's Honor Parish. If it, it is Honor Parish. If it is, come on Honor. Hello Honor. Um, and she says, what's your favorite animal? <sighs> I actually had this conversation with someone. I, I really like penguins. What Just about a capybara? Or a yeah, you look like a capybara though. <laughs> that capybara is, is the spirit A slightly sure. better looking but, version. But like yeah. penguins, you know, like they, they, they're like super loyal. They give their other half a rock. I'm like, how cool is that? They're like, here's a rock. And then the other one's like, I don't really know what I'm going to do with this, but I'm going to keep it anyway. And then, you know, they can swim. They don't fly just a little bit, but they, you know, they're always wearing a tux. You know, walking that's around smart. in a dinner always... jacket. And just go like, yo, what's going on here? Um, I do think penguins are pretty cool. Um, yeah. It is on it. Or a duckbill platypus. Duckbill platypus is quite cool because you're like, it's, is it a duck? Is it a beaver? Is it a platypus? Is it a, what is going on? <laughs> I mean, it's like a... Like a, like a is playing with us here. Right, guys, melting chocolate time. So this chocolate, doesn't matter how much chocolate you put in there, we basically need to have enough chocolate that it coats all of those balls. So do we need a knife and a chopping board? No, you've got this. You go, naughty, <laughs> turn it round. Tilly is scared, should we introduce Till? Oh no, she's running away. She's, she's scared. Okay, so guys, what we're gonna do is deal with any chocolate that you've got. So if you've got... Um, Can I deal with this one as well? Oh yeah, you've got to have a little... Look, look at this, look at, look at that. Is that ah, Tilly? Hello, you little doggy. She was scared of the smacking chocolate. She thought yeah. it was a... Unfortunately, she... Well, she, was, actually, she, she was in the building of the cookery school. Oh, she yeah. was chilling out in the building of the cookery school when we first built it. I think she's a bit camera shy. She, she just is. looks at me. Yeah, no, she's uh, right. Okay, so uh, we have got the chocolate. I smashed it up a little bit, and then going to put it in there. Any leftovers of the chocolate? Um, Eat. Or what you could do is you can go crazy and double dip. What you do? You melt your chocolate. You dip the balls in. They they set. You then put them back in the freezer. Set them again. Take them out. Double dip. You know. Or toothbrush. Get that in there. You know. Oh, uh, yeah, I like toothbrush because you get the flavour all around your mouth. <laughs> okay, so guys, that is dairy milk, a whole bar. It can be any chocolate you want, um, and it's just enough to coat. I don't want to use too much of this chocolate because I think that is our last half bar. So you can always add more, you can't take it out. You know? you so, you, yeah, you can double it up as yeah. well. So I'm going to just put that now over my bain marie. So when you're dealing with a bain marie, you just want the boiling water to hit the bottom of the bowl and then you turn the temperature down because you don't want it to be steaming out the side because if it's steaming out the side, what happens <laughs> is the water goes up the side of the bowl, goes into the chocolate and then it does something called seizing. And seizing is when it goes grainy. Now, if it goes grainy, there's only one really thing that you can do 
and that's adding a bit of cream or fat to it. Now, if you add cream or fat to a seized chocolate, if it goes grainy, like if you put it in the microwave, if any of you guys have ever seen this before, it goes grainy, you, can, you have to add fat to re basically make it into a nice texture. I was about to ask why using a bad marie and not put it in a microwave, is it because it it's because seasoned. you've got a higher chance of seasoning. So if you're using a higher content, higher cocoa content chocolate, you'll find it will seize faster than if you use like a Bourneville or a Dairy Milk. So Same. if it seizes, guys, the only thing that you can do is add a little bit of butter or a little bit of cream um, and then mix it up until it goes back into a chocolate. But it now will not set. Yeah? So once you put the balls in the chocolate, it won't set because you're going to have to keep them in the freezer. Whereas these ones can be, once they're actually set, we can leave them out because chocolate's obviously solid at room temperature. Just a pool of knowledge. I know, it's just, it's just you know, you know it's, like, it's like how we books in it. Um, Do you like pineapples? Pineapples. Pineapple uh, pen? Yeah, I prefer pens. Pineapple pens. <laughs> I like a pen, pineapple, apple pen. That's, that's my favourite kind of pen. Um, pineapples, you do. Have you guys seen this? Talking of the devil. We actually need to eat it. A whole it. melon. Uh, That's a very really spiky melon. It is, it's a hairy one. Um, yeah, um, no, you've got to love pineapple. Um, by the way, guys, talking about chili. pineapple, oh, I love a bit of chilli. You get a little bit of chilli, so one to one, sugar, one, sugar, yeah, one to one sugar and water, put that in a pan, bring it to a boil, take it off the heat once it's thickened up a little bit, and then you add in some chilli, some lime zest, pour that over the top of that. Cool. Great pudding, awesome. healthy summer great pudding. Um, one thing, just to tell you guys while we're talking about pineapple, how to test a pineapple. So to test a pineapple, what you do is you pull the top bits out, and what, if they start coming out nice and easily like this, you know your pineapple's good to go. Second way of doing it is smelling the bottom. You go... Uh, that's the main bottom. Only in the, only in the, 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 the veg market, I think. <laughs> um, okay, we also have... Uh, a couple of baking questions we'll go, to, go yes, for. Um, so, uh, what is your favourite thing to bake and what is your favourite cake? Baby, if any uh, Ice cream. Uh, Not that it's baking, there, there was, but anything There was sweet. an old French film that I watched years ago and this French woman was sitting with her old husband. He was like 70, 80 years old. And he was sitting there and he was reading the newspaper and she came in with a tray of madeleines and just gave it to him and gave him an espresso. And he was sitting there drinking an espresso with these madeleines, and since then I've always had like the glamorized. Do you know you're, <laughs> you're like one day I'll be that sophisticated. Sitting there on a table, you know, with, with your wife just chilling out. With your wife that. serving you. I, know, <laughs> I can make my madeleines. Don't chance. She's not making my madeleines. But I've had for sure you'd say macaroons. I know you're. I, I do love macaroons. You like making them. Do you like eating them as much as well, you Well, the thing is, macaroons, it, I prefer teaching them actually because the excitement when you see a person make macaroons and then I, I always mess with them. I'm like, oh no, and then they're like, what have you And I'm like, look at the oven and they're all perfect. It's like <laughs> perfect every time. Um, yeah, probably the madeleines are amazing. No, especially if you make them and just they're such a nice thing to have with a cup of coffee. You know, like I've loved, I could, the thing is, is I'm trying to think if I even know what a madeleine is. They're like, they're, they're basically the same shape of a shell. They're like a, a shell base and then they've got a little lump on the top. Uh, they're, like, they're like slightly lumpy. Um, yeah, they're yeah. eaten up egg white inside of like a cake mix. Um, they're too plain for me. No, they're not! Yeah, they are. Don't you dare say that. <laughs> they are unbelievable. Um, so guys, we are letting that chocolate melt. Um, yeah, I do love madeleines. Yeah. Macaroons are awesome. These flapjacks were incredible. No, Can we, sh sh while that's going, um, in case some people have joined the, the uh, party late. Yeah, just to make sure what we're doing. Yeah, do you want to just give a little, okay, how cool. big the truffles need to be, yep. all that kind of Let's jazz. Let's do it. Okay, so guys, starting off with biscuits. So you need any biscuit, so can you see down here? Yeah? Yes, yes, yes. We cool, see. so any biscuit. Then what you're going to do is add, so get, a decent amount of biscuits in a bowl, in a Magimix. Um, just get like, uh, so I have a packet of, of Oreos, a packet of- You could do half, if you've yeah, only you got half. It depends how much you guys want to do. So we use a, a quarter of a packet of digestives and about three quarters of a packet of Oreos, which has made us about 15 balls, I think. I don't know, I've got to count them when they're out. Mm. So then what we've done is we blitzed those up and then we added um, some peanut butter. We also added some Nutella, but you can add any spread that you guys like. So Biscoff spread, Nutella, any peanut butter. If you're using a, this peanut butter, uh, Manny Life, the amazing stuff, is very runny. So because it's runny, you're gonna use less of this peanut butter than you would if you use something like Polar. Skippy or, you know, all those terrible ones. Terrible. Yeah. Um, so any of the other peanut butter that you add in, they can, might be can I, can I just add? Yes. 
I, I, we can't stress enough. If you do like peanut butter or, you know, don't actually even, just try Manny Life because Shanga I feel like we've been didn't like them. Up. I know because mm. we are just like, yeah, but it yeah. is so good. We it eat is. it every 10 times every day. So We're do actually, give it a go. Because someone said that they've got whole, is you, oh, they're using whole earth. Whole earth's a lot thicker. It's bitter so, as well. Um, the thing is, the, but there's two different versions of whole earth. One is worse than the other. One's got, like, they basically unroasted and they, with the skins in and they're really bitter, whereas the roasted one, sometimes they, they, they make it a little bit sweeter, a bit nicer. But if it is thicker, you can actually just add a little bit of liquid to it. Yeah, it's just basically, it just needs to be bonded together. So, I mean, you fin up, finish up your peanut butter, you can melt a little bit of butter in there. You're basically making just a, just a held together biscuit ball. So it just needs enough moisture to bond it together. So preferably I would use um, Nutella or uh, you know peanut butter or biscoff bread. So biscuits and spread, mix it together, get it into balls. We what put size? It in, what size we're looking for, I would say Ferrero Rocher size or- um, Lindor. Lindor. Yeah, but any size really, you could do big yeah, ones. Yeah, you could do big ones, but for me, I like, you know- A little, little mouthful. Little, little pop it. Yeah? A big mouthful. Yeah, big mouthful. So guys, that is the, the biscuit base. Um, now we've got the chocolate part. So any chocolate that you guys have, the, the two that we've got, actually we've got three, but there's no chance I'm using Willie's chocolate in this. Willie's chocolate, if you guys don't know about it. We don't have any of the packet. Oh, guys, I've got that. His secret supply that yeah, he hides um, from us. Anyone touches my chocolate, look at that. Willie's chocolate. They are. It just upsets me though. If you had to choose between Manny Life and Willie's chocolate, I would choose Manny Life. I mean, the stew is awesome. Whereas Willie's, he's, we, we've contacted him and he just doesn't want to join me, you know? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, okay, so um, any chocolate, and then what we're going to be doing is once that chocolate melted, let's go and have a check. Um, we're going to be dipping those balls into the chocolate. Guys, this is Someone, so someone says their, their chocolate's quite thick, so can you just give them a show of what ours looks like, please? So people yeah. can... It just basically needs to be melted. Yeah. And hot, I think, because it, be, it will be a bit thinner or smoother yeah. so you want, to you dip. You wanted to coat the balls, but... And just keep, keep so if, it, if, you, if yours goes grainy, it's because some of the liquid's gone inside there. So always make sure no liquid gets inside your chocolate. So that's... Look at that. So, so it's not quite... So Sorry. I've got a couple of lumps in there. Yeah. But also, it, is it when it's hotter, it's a bit easier to dip in? Uh, you, yeah, you don't want to, like, if really it cools down a bit too much, it's a nightmare. But if it's too hot, you've got, basically, the hotter you go with this chocolate, you will eventually seize it. So, just warm it up until it's melted. Yeah, as soon as it's melted, I'm then going to take it off the heat. I've still got a lump in here, if you guys can see there. Yeah, so because I still got that lump, I'm going to put it on the heat for a little bit longer. By the way, when, you, when anyone ever says, take it off the heat, yeah, never means like this. This is not, this is not taking it off the heat. Yeah, that is still on the heat because the water's still hitting the bottle, so you have to take it off the heat. Yeah, so never let that steam hit the, um, as soon as it's melted, take it off, leave the bowl there. Can you over, overheat it? Yes, you can. Yeah, yeah the chocolate will seize, it will go with gravy. Um, guys, then what we've got is got some toothpicks. So what we're now going to be doing is, well, once that chocolate's fully melted, we're going to be skewering the balls, hopefully lifting it up. If they slip off, you know, we're just going to have to spoon them out. And we're going to put those on a tray, back on that tray, and then we're going to set them in the, fr the fridge or freezer, or just let it, like, because I wanted to show you guys as quickly, we've used the freezer, but you can let it set just in, in a cold room. You bet, bet the fastest way is going to be freezer, second fastest way is going to be fridge. Um, we just basically need it to, to set, yeah? Cool, so um, our chocolate now is melted. That lump is gone. Let's start getting our... Should I get the balls then? Uh, yes, please. See if they sit. So people can leave them in a bit longer. Either they can cook along with us. Guys, cook along with us, or you can just leave it in the freezer a little bit longer. Yeah, guys, if you're not ready, don't worry about it. Um, it's just, yeah, just it's very, very simple. So guys, let's see. They haven't quite set. This is going to be too difficult to do with the skewer. I think you'll find that if I put, yeah, if I pick this up because it's not set, it's just going to slip straight off. So what we're going to do is we're just going to drop that inside, roll it round, get a teaspoon, and slip this thing out. Okay, slip it out. So you just take it out. Yeah, and you nice and back. Yeah, put it back on the tray. 
<laughs> and we're gonna do that to all of them. Don't worry, so if you guys wanted them to have perfect balls, if you guys do have skewers and it does set round it, what you do is you dip them in and then what I normally do is get a bit of cling film. I'll show you guys this because it's quite a good thing to show you. Um, Who's starting the cling film? Is it there? Oh, there. Okay, so guys, this is quite a nice tip if you're ever doing chocolate coated strawberries or anything that you don't want to um, to move round and you want to have perfect round balls. Get a bit of cling film, put that over the top of a glass, like that. And then, sorry, uh, when you get your skewers, what you can do, so you, you put one of the skewers on, like so strawberry, anything that you guys are dipping in chocolate, marshmallow, let's say, you, you skewer it on, and then what you do is you stick that in there, like that, and then you can put all of them along, and then that way they'll make like sticky make, toffee apples. Yeah, make, makes them all have like a perfect top. The cling film basically holds it from flipping out. Yeah, so that's quite a nice. Generally, you want something a little bit deeper than that glass. That was just a, a way to show you, but I think I might make it a bit messy here. No, you're not. You're doing a fantastic job, Shanga. Yeah. You are one of the most incredible people I know. Uh, Apart I'm... from Jesus, guys. Have you met him personally? No, I haven't actually. He's, he just doesn't come to my birthday parties anymore. Did he used to? Apparently he did. Dad always said he did, but I don't know. Um, yeah, it might have been Pete from down the road. Um, so guys, we're now just going to be covering it in chocolate, and Maybe then we're going to be shoving that back in the fridge or the freezer. Now, generally when you're dealing with chocolate, you should set it low and slow, because it's better for the chocolate. Um, but it doesn't really matter. I mean, I, I personally put these back in the freezer because it's nice and quick. And then when I want them, they're quite nice and cold. You can keep them in the fridge. Um, and then they'll be a little bit softer when you bite into them. But um, that's pretty much it, guys. Lovely. Shango. So yes, guys, if you are cooking along with us, or even if you're not cooking along with us, and, you, and you're doing it um, after we finish, you be seizing it on IGTV or um, just on Facebook as a post, do send us, please tag us in any of your creations. Again, I can't stress enough from any video that I make how much we enjoy seeing little creations. Yeah, it was those flapjacks. Were, uh, who, who made those yesterday? Steve, I think, sent us. Um, we had we had about four or five people sending us their pictures, and they were all amazing. It doesn't matter how it, how the end result is. We just want to see that you participated, yes. you enjoyed, and basically motivate us to continue these lessons. So, yeah, if you guys. Um, are happy with what we're doing, join us. We're gonna do this every day next week. Um, we're gonna do it in the afternoons. If you want to know the exact recipes and the exact um, ingredients. ingredients that we're going to use and you guys will require, join our mailing list, which is on our website at the footer at the bottom. Just subscribe and you can have a say in what we're cooking and also you can um, just be aware of what we're going to do before it's live. Um, one more thing, as we mentioned in the beginning, we started doing online classes with all the ingredients would be that all the ingredients would be sent to you. So if you guys want to have a sushi class with us, we're gonna send you a whole sushi kit with everything inside, including the rice, um, everything beside vegetables or fish, if you would like to add. So if you guys want to join us uh, and join Richard and have a private lesson with him, just let us know. It's on our website. You can have a look at it, and we can have some fun for any family. You know, if you got a friend that has a birthday in Corona time and you want to make them happy, do a class together. Have fun. Friday yeah, night we'll, with we'll Richard. Keep us going and keep you guys going. We'll have a fun time together. Is there anything else we forgot, dear Voice of Reason? I think we're all good, guys. So we love you guys. Join love us you again guys. next Stay week. Stay safe. Thanks, Stay guys. Stay in school. Bye. Bye. Sweet. So how soon till you...